Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be looking at some books that I want to reread and see if I've changed my mind about them. Right, so these books are in no particular order, they are just some books that I would like to reread because either I'm going to give them a high rating or I'm going to give them a lower rating or I never rated them at all. Um, so let's just start with the top of the pile. The first book I have here is Exit West by Moshin Ahmed and I enjoyed this book but this is one, this is one that I think upon reread I will find more things that I like about it and more deeper meaning to it uh, and in this we follow a couple who live in a war-torn war country um, and we follow them as they have a chance to escape through these doors. These doors have just been appearing all over the world for people to just go through and we follow these two people as they go through the door and things happen. This sounded really good and the reason I want to give this another read is because I really liked um, Before the Coffee Gets Cold and this has a similar vibe to it and I think that I gave this a three the last time I read it and I definitely think it deserves like at least a 4.5 so I just want to read this and see if my feelings still stick are they valid or have I changed my mind um it'll be interesting to see on a similar vein of books I think I would change my mind about if I reread them is The Colorist The Colorless Tsukuru Tsuzaki by Marikami um I think that I would change this because a, I haven't stopped thinking about it since I read it and it hit me in the feels and I think I just need to give it another read. I think upon reread that this could have a five star favourite book of ever status. So I just need to read it. Um, in this we follow Tezuka Uzaki, um, as he's an older man and he's dealing with some life problems. He's got baggage and he meets this woman and of course he wants to be better for her, of course. Maybe not, of course, but he starts to explore why he is the way he is, like his past trauma, and we learn that his friends one day just all stop talking to him and he doesn't know the reason. So we follow him as he discovers the reasons as to why his friends stop talking to him. And it's really powerful. It shows how people can really like mess with us and how friendships have the power to impact us negatively or positively. And I just, I think I would love this again once I reread it. I just do. <laughs> this next book is one that I've read recently just like the colorist Suzuki Tsuzaki and it is The City of Brass. Now I was going through a bit of a reading slump when I was reading this and I was listening to it on audio because I was really struggling to physically pick up anything and I think I might not have been listening as closely as I hoped I would with an audiobook. I still remember what happens and I still remember loving the characters but for some reason it just fell flat and it got like a 4.5 for me at the time but the more I think about it the more like I'm hitting myself because I think it deserves a higher rating because I can't stop thinking about it and so I think upon reread it will be a five star read and I'm debating whether I should just bump it up to five stars already I love like this so much and it's everything I wanted Rebel of the Sands to be um last year and this just did it so much better. It's just so good. And in this we follow Nari as she is kind of a con woman living in Cairo um, who may or may not have a touch of magic and she wishes for a different life. She wants something more and something happens because uh, her conning goes wrong <laughs> and not everything is what it seems. I can't stop thinking about this. I think I should just say this is going to be a five star read. I am going to reread it because I want to pick up the next two books in the trilogy now that the third one is out. <sighs> I don't know why. Why? Let's just talk about the other quarantine read I want to A purchase and B reread and this is The Strange Adventures of H. Now for me I docked off a point or two because I didn't like some of the language she chose um, but I enjoyed the story overall and now I'm wondering if I was being really hypercritical um, with what I picked out of this, especially given that the, the, the few times was only in the very first part and didn't occur again for the rest of the story. And also I'm wondering if the fact that this book is about the plague in London when everyone is under quarantine maybe kind of hit me a little too close to home. 
I don't know, I want to buy a physical copy and I want to reread it and then I'll let you know how I actually feel about it. <laughs> Um, and in this we follow H as kind of like a memoir style. We follow her as she leaves home and goes to live with her aunt and some very tragic things happen to her during the middle of this plague. And we follow her as she grows up as she has to learn how to take care of herself. And yeah, it was very good. It's split into three parts. I do have a full kind of video reading it and I'll link that up there. The last two books I want to mention are two that I read quite a while ago. One I know I did rate and I rated it I think just an average three stars um, and the next one I didn't rate at all because I was just getting back into reading and yeah I think my opinions have either stayed the same and it needs like a cemented five star rating from me or it's gone downhill. Um, the first one is Uprooted by Naomi Novik. Now I have read three or four Naomi Novik books now and I love her writing, I love her world building and I love her characters. I've also read the first two books in the Timorary series. I love them and that's why I think this is still going to be a five star read so I kind of just want to read it for the sake of rereading but I know a lot of people don't like this book. I know it's very split and like divided opinions about it so I think I just need to give it another read. Uh, and in this we follow Ag Agniska who lives in this valley by the woods and you're not meant to go in the woods because the woods are not haunted per se but they're, they're, there's something sinister in there and there's a man called the dragon and he comes and chooses a girl in the village every few years yeah so a young village woman must serve him for 10 years leaving all she valued behind now she is in fear that her best friend will be taken and come the reaping day, she gets taken and things ensue. I just really like this. I like the storytelling in this. It feels very kind of old world style fairy tale. And I just loved it. I, I did. I really enjoyed it. And I think upon reread, it will still hold up as a five star read. Hopefully. And then I'll have an excuse to pick up Spinning Silver. Uh, and the last one is The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. Again, this is a very divisive book and I just felt meh about it the first time I read it. And I'm wondering if because the type of story I like has changed, um, I think I might like this more because I am falling more in love with this kind of magical lyrical writing. Um, these kind of fairy tale stories have really captured my heart at the minute, especially this year, like The Binding, Once Upon a River, uprooted I want to read again like I think this has the potential to be higher than three stars for me and in this we follow Alice and her mum and they're estranged from her mum's mum so her grandmother but her grandmother dies leaving them the estate called the Hazelwood um, and her grandmother is famous for writing these fairy tales based around the Hazelwood and so they don't think anything of it and then one day her mother disappears and is kidnapped by something from the Hazelwood and it's up to Alice to go and save her and figure out the mystery surrounding the Hazelwood. That just sounds really good. I think, I think I'm gonna like it because now thinking about it, it seems like something that deserves higher than three. I think these all do. I don't know what's wrong with me. I think these all are five star. I don't know what's wrong with me. I genuinely think these all have the potential of being five star reads. I do, um, especially because I can't stop thinking about these two. I think about this on a semi-regular basis and that one as well. Um, the only one that kind of is, eh, might stay four stars is Exit West. I don't know. I want to give them another read. Maybe I'll try to vlog it, but I'm not sure if I will read all these at once. So it may be a while before that video comes out. Um, yeah. What are some books that you think you have changed your mind on? Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you soon in another video. Bye guys.